all you got one man with me. Oh. And make it easy, Andrew. I ain't checking you out here, so I'll have to bat you later. All right, so. All right, so the first thing I do is what? Start from the head? Yep. First thing you do is you point him or anybody. Get C spine for him. That's the first thing. Yeah. Because a lot of times, as you get down, get C spine. How's it going, man? Good. You know, so he just talked alert. to you. Yeah. He's alert. He knew what to say, how to answer you. So, you know, he's breathing. At least he's breathing. And a lot of times, if they have an airway, like if they're sitting in the car, which is how you're going to find them now, yeah. time, they're like this. And they go, <laughs> well, the minute he gets C spine, it clears up. Nine out of ten times. I mean, it doesn't all the time. But most of the time, you take care of your airway and your breathing right there. Right. My first come out here, I ask any time who I am and see if he's hurting anywhere. My man's getting it. All right. Yep. Uh, I'm Austin. Uh, I'm going to check you out. Are you hurting anywhere? Mm-hmm. Ain't sure. Okay. So I, what I do is come out and just put my just, hand. Yeah, just look for blood. It's real pretty rapid. Just pull it, push it in, pull it out. Just check your hands. Yep. Every time hands. you put it on. Like, yeah. like that. Yeah. Yep. Like that, man. And then go down each side. That's it. You just put them in a pretty good line. Yep. Like yeah. Like I say, you know. Yep. It's oh, okay. All the way down. All right, then. Then just do each leg one time. Yep, and just kind of. Really, you can do on the legs. You don't even have to go that. You can kind of just do like that. I mean, you're going to. You're just rapidly looking at. Yeah, this is the first thing. And then the second one's where we do the big one. That's when you All right, so. I just. And you don't start from the head to toe. Head to toe so. You're looking for decap BTLA, exactly. which is basically you're looking for broken bones, bones lacerations, and cuts. And 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 all right, so what we'll, we'll do the first thing when you come back up here? Just you just look, look just kind of feel the head. Just feel it. Right. Just kind of mash just a little bit and kind of round behind. Check for crepitation. Yep. What's that? Crepitation. That's bones moving. What I'll do is I'll kind of do yeah, like this. Yeah, and stuff. I mean, one thing you got to get over right now, and it takes you a long time. Don't worry about touching your patient. If you don't touch them, you don't feel it, you don't see it, you they're can't treat them. Yeah, I'm so always afraid of hurting them too bad. You're not going to hurt them. They're already hurt. You didn't <laughs> cause this problem. Right. You're here to try to fix it. Right. Okay. Take them up. Yep. Right. Yep. And then what you want to do is kind of mash right there a little bit. You just mash your thumbs, you find, I mean, if Either you, way, you I just, mean, you can you just kind yep. of check them. And then kind of just mash right there. Right. Really yeah. Yep. Right. Now you take your pen light uh-huh. and shine it in his eye. I do that. Well, his pupil. You did. You did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. you did. You just didn't have one. Uh-huh. And just shine it in one eye while looking at this one. Oh, yeah. And then shine at this one while looking at that one. Yeah. And you'll see it. It'll. All right, so they're, a- they're equal right now. Okay. Check his ears. No, just look. If there's no blood, you don't. You, it doesn't matter. Yep. Kind of check this one. Yep. And you'll shine your light like that. Check his nose. You're not really looking. You're looking for obvious. Obvious, I mean, obvious just, blood, I mean. Yeah, and you just kind of shine it in there. You don't see anything. Kind of, you can actually have him. Can you open your mouth? And just look around, see if you see any teeth floating around or any blood. Okay, now you're going to check the back of his neck. You just kind of feel it like that. Just all the way back down again. This is mm-hmm. this just, is. just kind of feel the back of his neck kind of like this. You're just feeling the bones. Uh, ain't no grinding in okay. this place right now. Now you want to kind of go to the shoulder area and the clavicles. Like right here. Yep. Just kind of feel right here, right there. And then kind of just go down. The sides of the chest, not pushing hard, but just, like, yeah, yep, just, just like kind of, yep. Okay, 
And now you want to get your stethoscope. Right. Let's do the breathing. Yep. And if he's talking to you, that's all the more better. You go right about, right about there. And just say, take deep breath for me. Okay. And go right here. And then somewhere right in this area. Face to face. Yep. Now you want to check your abdomen. That's the next thing. Uh, do you have any pain out there? Uh, about here. And then out in here? About this side. Okay. Okay. And then while you're here, instead of Tom, I'm going to check your pelvis next. And just do that. Just kind of rub your arm over him right there. And then you want to push in. I'm going to check your pelvis, okay? So I just like come just across like yeah. that. Okay, and, and you got, what's that word? I can't think of it. And you push what? Yeah. Yeah. And yep, what you want to do is just kind of take your palms. Palms. Just push down. And then push Check them for prop in. Alright. Alright. Yep, push in. Alright, that's pretty strong. And then you want to just kind of grab the leg. You don't want to really go like that. Just, just kind of. You can see it's just, you know, yeah. like normal. Uh, <coughs> yeah. Yep. We'll check, kind of check the knee. So you can tell if it's in the right place. Yeah. Oh, how would you tell if some, you know, some people's legs are twisted more in than others? You just mainly, you just want to kind of do like that. It's you this in relation to my femur and my tibia. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh-huh. Check that, kind of just squeeze it, you know. And then that foot, you want to check your pulse. We'll check your pulse. And usually what you end up having to do is you're going to check it right about there. Not in the middle. And you're going to have to, kind of over to the side. You're going to have to check it, move, check, check. You know, you're going to have to move around. And find that one. And when you find it, usually what I do, I'll this take a pen. This is where you have to off of it. And I'll just, yep, mm -hmm. I'll just put a little X where I found it. Mm -hmm. That way, if you get one, you check it later. And you don't have it. You got it right yeah, back. Yeah, you know. Yeah. You know if you ain't got one, right? Uh, would you check the other leg then? Check the other toes? Or? Check that and then tell him, can you pull up on And you can do both of those. And then go back up one leg and start yeah. again. Okay. Can you push down? Uh, can you push down for me, buddy? Or yeah, I'm sorry. All right, can you lift up? Can you feel my hand? Can you feel it down there? Mm -hmm. Can your toes wiggle? Right. And then just yeah. grab this leg and do the exact same thing. You could, could you go back up that way? Work no, you always start at the top. Always go down from yeah. And then go to the arms. Yeah. Okay, what is over here? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Check the humors. Hey, Bill, you find everybody? You tip fib. <laughs> hey, which one? Yeah. You're right. The radius tip. Yeah, your radius normal. Just kind of grab it and kind of just move it around a little bit. Any pain around there? Any pain in your hand or anything? Wiggle your fingers. Try to push, push down for me. I'm pushing. All right, can you lift up? Can you move it and feel? Feel any pain in this arm? Mm -hmm. Alright, what about your hand? Yeah. Alright, what about your hand? Mm -hmm. As good as you get them. Yep. And now, what you're going to do, you're going to roll it. Alright. And you always tell your man that's holding, he's in charge. Yep. Alright. Yeah. Alright, show me. And then you always say, I'm going to roll him toward me or I'm going to roll him away from me. If they, don't you rub the other arm in? Yeah. Whichever way you want to. Right. Usually, I always roll him toward me for the main reason that gives the man over here room to work the backboard. Chair, you know. Yeah, but I always roll him toward me. That's why. For one thing, then you have him kind of up against you. You can feel his back, and then the men over here can work your back. Yeah, well, I like it when I, I pull it toward me it's because you can see over him. If you pull it this far when you pull him outwards, you have to look back and hold him over here. So, yeah. I'm going to roll you over, okay? okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, go ahead. I'm going to roll it towards me. Alright, so whenever you're ready. It'll be this arm right here, wouldn't it? Yeah. You need to put that yeah. over that way. Is it a bead or a That's the real twist.